Hi and welcome back. It's time now to talk about how we work the body of Tommy Bear. There. Grab your body color yarn and for the first row have six single crochets into a magic ring. On second row we have an increase in each stitch around, so that will be 6 increases. By the end of second row you will have 12 stitches. I'm now ready to go to third row and have an increase around. That means 12 increases. By the end of third row you will have 24 stitches. This is my first increase, second, third. So basically I'm doing two single crochets in each stitch around till the end of the row. I have finished third row with 24 stitches. And now I can go and work on my fourth row and have one single crochet in the first stitch and an increase into the next one. I repeat this 12 times. This is the first increase. And again, one single crochet into the next stitch and increase into the next one one single crochet and then an increase repeat this till the end of the row you will be finishing the row with 36 stitches now would be a good time to hit that like button to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you know when i upload the next video I have finished row 4, I can go and work on my 5th row and have 2 single crochets into the next 2 stitches and increase into the next one. Repeat that 12 times and by the end of 5th row you will have 48 stitches. So this is my 1st single crochet, my 2nd and now I have an increase into the next one.
from row 6 till row 8 we will be single crocheting around and we will single crochet 48 times per each round. I'll meet you back here at the end of row 8. I have finished row 8 with 48 stitches now I'm ready to attach the legs so on the next row on row 9 we will be attaching the legs take one of the leg and single crochet on the leg and on the body at the same time so on both on both layers and single crochet six I attached him like this into this direction because I want to have that stitch with the changing color part from the body on the back side of my toy if you don't care about this you can attach however you want the legs this is how I do it and now as I said I'm doing six single crochets into both layers of the body and the leg so that I don't have to sew legs on I just crochet them around this would be my second single crochet also I forgot to add a stitch marker on my first single crochet remember to do that so that you know where you have started the row this is my third single crochet on both layers legs leg and body four I have to do one more and six this is the first leg that I have attached and as I said I forgot to use a stitch marker to place the, the spot where I've started the row Now I need to count my stitches to know where to place my marker. If you place it at the first single crochet, you won't have the issue I have. Okay, I'm ready to go forward and into the next 22 stitches I will have 22 single crochets. So go into the first available stitch that you haven't worked in and start the 22 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Now I'm ready to grab my second leg and make sure they are facing the same direction. So if you're doing it like me, you need to have it like this. And you will have six single crochets on both layers of the second leg and the body into this direction.
go like this into the leg first and then into the very first available stitch from the body and have my first single crochet on both layers this will be my second third fourth fifth and I have one more and my sixth now I have the second leg attached I will have 14 single crochets into the next 14 stitches until I finish the row by the end of row 9 you will have 48 stitches so now go into the first available stitch and have the first single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen I have finished row nine this is how body and legs look like I can go now and work on my tenth row and have one single crochet into the next stitch and increase into the other repeat that three times so this is the first single crochet now I have an increase one single crochet an increase one single crochet and the last increase into the next 21 stitches I will have 21 single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Into the next stitch I have one single crochet and into the next one an increase. Repeat that three times. So one single crochet in here and increase into the next one. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet and the last increase. Into the next 15 stitches I have 15 single crochet so only single crochet until you finish the round by the end of row 10 you will have 54 stitches I have finished row 10 with 54 stitches this is how my body looks like so far
starting with row 11 till row 15 we will only be single crocheting around that will be 54 single crochets per each round and we do this for five rounds i'll meet you back here at the end of row 15. I have finished row 15 and I am ready to change color. I will leave one unworked stitch on the last row so that I can change color. Grab your secondary color yarn, the one that you want to have the body of your toy. And don't finish the last stitch of the round with the same color yarn, finish it with the secondary color yarn. And for row 16, have 54 single crochets into the next 54 stitches only into the back loops so not into the whole loop only into the back loop not like this so not the whole loop i go only into the back one This is my last stitch 
and now I'm ready to go on the next row on row 17 and have 54 single crochets into the next 54 stitches so single crochet around for the whole row On row 18, we start with 7 single crochets into the next 7 stitches, a decrease into the next ones. Repeat that 6 times. This is my first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, my seventh, and now I have a decrease. Go into the front loop only of the next two stitches and have your decrease. I have to do this six more, five more times. By the end of row 18, you will have 48 stitches. Starting with row 19 to row 20, we will be single crocheting around and we have 48 single crochets per round. We do this two rounds for two rounds. I will meet you back here at the end of row 20. I have finished row 20. I can go and work on the 21st row and have six single crochets into the next six stitches, a decrease into the next ones. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I can have a decrease. Repeat this five more times. One, two, three, four, five, and six, a decrease. By the end of row 21st, you will have 42 stitches. Yeah. 
Starting with row 22nd to row 23rd, you will be single crocheting around and that means 42 single crochets for each round. You do this for 2 rounds. I will meet you back here at the end of row 23rd. It would be great to know what you would prefer to see next on our YouTube channel. So leave a comment below and let me know what I can surprise you next with. I have finished row 23rd. Let's go and work on the 24th row and have 5 single crochets into the next 5 stitches, a decrease into the next 2 stitches. Repeat that 6 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and now I have a decrease. 1, 2, 3, four five a decrease continue doing so until you finish the round by the end of the row you will have 36 stitches I have finished row 24, I can go and work on the 25th and have 36 single crochets into the next 36 stitches. So only single crochet around. On row 26, we have 4 single crochets into the next 4 stitches, a decrease into the next 2 stitches, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and now a decrease. Repeat this 5 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, and now a decrease. You have to do this 4 more times. By the end of row 26, you will have 30 stitches. Let me stuff my toy. I can go and work on the next row, row 27, and have 30 single crochets into the next 30 stitches, so only single crochet around.
On row 28, we have the last decrease. That means three single crochets into the next three stitches and the decrease into the next ones. One, two, three. And now a decrease. One, two, and three. In the decrease. Repeat this four more times. By the end of row 28, you will have 24 stitches. And the last decrease for the round. Now I can go to row 29 and only single crochet around. So 24 single crochets for row 29. Now on the last stitch of row 29, I will change color to the body color yarn. So instead of finishing the stitch with the same color yarn, I will change it to the body color yarn. And for row 30, I will work only into the back loops of the next 30 stitches. Oh, actually, sorry, 24 stitches. So only into the back loops and go and have 24 single crochets. I will pull the other color yarn so I don't have gaps into my work. And this is how I do my back loops only with the body color yarn. At the end of row you will slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. If you didn't get to subscribe to our channel, remember to do so, to hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. This is a good way to show your support and so that I can continue making beautiful tutorials. Finish the row with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing head to the body. This is how my legs and body look like. Remember to stuff your toy. I hope you're pleased on, on how it looks so far. And I will meet you back here for the next part. Remember, I upload weekly. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!